All right, hey everyone, uh, this is Jimmy from Blizz Planet and I'm with Nick Carpenter. Uh, first off, congrats on 20 years with Blizzard. How, is, how does that feel? Okay, so it's actually not 20, I'm actually 19. Okay. Yeah, 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 close so enough. Close. Uh, next year I actually get the helmet. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Who's involved in uh, making the helmet for uh, you guys? So, uh, it was primarily me and Chris Metzen. Okay. Um, you know, Chris had come to me and said, hey, I think we want to come up with something real special for the 20 year. And uh, we just didn't want to do the same old same, and uh, so we decided that we wanted to do a crown. And as I started to develop, it sort of became a crown slash helmet. Okay. Um, and uh, we actually worked with Weta, uh, the same group that did Lord of the Rings, yeah, to yeah. construct it. And uh, you know, we worked with them on our statue uh, at the campus, and so they were the perfect fit for this. And it's actually made out of real metal. I mean, this thing looks like it came out of you know Lord on. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, on that, I know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the swords and the shields are different every single year, right? They are. Um, are you doing that the so same with the helmet? That, that's kind of the idea. Is we wanted to kind of create a uh, uh, an award for everybody that was universal, right? And so, uh, you know, right now what we have is, and, and they're awesome, the swords, but it's like sort of the month club, right? And mm -hmm. so you don't know what you're going to get. You know, I have, a, I think, a gladiator sword, and I think, you know, someone else has like a demon sword. And mm -hmm. The, the idea behind it is that we wouldn't create an IP-specific art style for any of these, but yet would embody everything that's Blizzard, right? And so that was the challenge. And so we're going to take, now that we've done the helmet, we can take the art style from that and apply it to the shield and the sword, because now what we want to do is create one shield and one sword that we'll give to all Blizzard. Players. Okay, cool. Um, now, going on why we're here, we're opening, you guys are doing an opening gallery for yep. I mean, all this art is yep. behind us. Great art. Um, you guys have just tons of concept art. I mean, you guys have been around for a while now. What was the process like to determine what went into the book? I mean, just the amount of art that you have to choose from is just well, you know, incredible. We, we, we talked a lot about what we wanted the book to be. And, um, you know, we didn't want it to be a history book, right? We didn't want it to necessarily chrono mm -hmm. you know, chronologically go through everything that was Blizzard. We wanted to make sure that we were just representing the art having, that had been created. And so we just sat around in a big meeting room and um, just thumbed through the art, right? And yeah. You know, <laughs> hundreds and thousands of pieces of art, you know, and someone would pop and be like, oh my God. That has to go in? It was kind of like, <laughs> what were the pieces of art that influenced us and changed the direction of the studio? And a lot of it, you know, might not have been the best art, but oh. might have had a huge impact on the studio and where we were going. Yeah, definitely. You know? So we felt that those were the ones that needed to be in the book, the ones that really moved the meter. Mm -hmm. So um, how would you compare this to something like the art books that are coming in the collector's editions? I mean, obviously this is a bit bigger of a project. So um, in the collector's edition, you're going to get a wide variety of different art that's created, right? You're going to get like CG cinematic content, right? You're going to get concept and you're going to get uh, illustration. In this book, we felt it was important to only celebrate the art, the concept and the illustrations. You know, no CG, no making of. This is simply just a book that celebrates, you know, 20 years, 20 some odd years of art being created at Blizzard. Uh -huh. So, um, who was all involved in the development of this book? Obviously, you, Chris, um, all the artists here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, but also Jeff Chamberlain. Uh, he worked very closely with Insight on the layout. Um, mm -hmm. Jonathan Berube, uh, uh He's our VFX uh, soup in cinematics. He worked on doing some of the layout. Um, and I think I'm forgetting a couple of people. A lot of people, you know, touch the book in some way, shape, or form. But those were really the people that were really pushing uh -huh. it towards the finish line. So how does it feel to get a book like this out in the fans' hands? I mean, you guys, obviously, the, like I said, you had the collectors. Yeah, you got to remember, I'm a fan yes, too. Of course. You know, and uh, <laughs> you know, we had been poking at this book for the better part of two years, and when it was completed, and I got my copy, which was last week, it brought a tear. I, I got misty eyed. Like I could not believe just the body of work that I was looking at, and like what we have gone through to create this. And yeah. as a, I, it, it kind of reignited the fact that I'm a fan too. Like, and I just. You know, I was looking through it, and I'm like, every new artist that starts at Blizzard has to be given this book because it's just, it's such an amazing way to look into what we've done. And, I mean, just, if I'm geeked up about it, I can only imagine <laughs> yeah. how the fans are going to feel. I'm really excited to see it because I haven't seen any of it yet. It is just, and I'm it's so, so big, excited to so get my heavy. Like, when I got it, it was just like, it. I was expecting to sort of be this light thing because I'd only seen it in digital yeah. format. Mm -hmm. It was given to me, and it's just like this boom, it's this anchor. I'm like, this is how it should be. Speaking of digital format, do you think we'll see a digital release of the book at all, possibly? Um, we haven't talked much about that. You know, I think we wanted to stick pretty traditional, but that's not to say no. Okay. Um, one question I personally had was, what were the challenges for you guys going into Mystic Pandaria, having a totally kind of different art style that Asian-inspired Pandarian? I know 
you guys, same wise, have done stuff for Warcraft yep. Three, and yep. obviously that kind of kickstarted the whole Absolutely. thing. Did you guys do any special training or anything? Uh, for you it? know, we certainly wanted to be uh, respectful to the cultures. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, when Sam had originally created uh, the art, it was something he did on his own, right? Um, the Pandarans didn't come from a specific uh, task or need. It was something that Sam did on his own. Fun, and yeah. we all saw that and we're like, that is the coolest thing we've ever seen. And it was something that we wanted to get into in an early expansion. But, uh, you know, given the sensitivities, I just don't think it, we were ready. And we didn't quite understand what we're getting into. Um, you know, certain cultures are very sensitive about how mm -hmm. you represent mm -hmm. their art. And so we needed to take a step back, educate ourselves, you know, really look at, you know, what we were getting ourselves into and pay it the correct homage. But remember, it's still set within the fantasy world of yeah, the world of Warcraft. So it's ours, right? And, you know, we're not always going to make everyone happy, right? And so what, a lot of times what we do is we'll, we'll try to be respectful. But our primary focus is to make us happy, right? As geeks. We can be happy with the work that we're creating. Hopefully the rest of the world. So there's obviously three main main franchises for Blizzard, StarCraft, Diablo, and Warcraft. How do you change your art style for each different franchise? Because each different franchise has a very distinct voice. StarCraft is very grungy, futuristic, sci-fi. Yeah. Warcraft. You go away on vacation. You go away. <laughs> no, uh, Funny enough, I get to touch pretty much everything at Blizzard, and so on any given day, I'm, I'm touching all the games. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think maybe it's just consistency. You know, I've been with the company for a while, and so mm -hmm. I know how to change You're gears. able to transition now. I, at, at the beginning, you know, I couldn't do it, though. It was very difficult for mm -hmm. me. You know, like one minute, it's just, you know, it's very grungy and dirty and lots of high, you know, hyper detail, and then the next it's colorful and cartoony, and, you know, I'd find myself kind of bleeding the lines, and I'm like, wait, I'm not... I'm not you know respecting the IP the way it needs to be respected, and so it took me a while. And you know, funny enough, I I'd watch Chris uh, Metzen and do it, and I'm like, how the hell does he do this? <laughs> and you know, you, you watch him carefully enough, and then eventually you uh -huh. figure it out. And then I remember him telling me like, how do you do it, Nick? And I'm like, dude, I learned this from you. What are you talking about? So yeah, you just try to be dynamic. Okay. Um, are there any special treats kind of in the book for fans? A lot. I know there was talk. I think on the description I saw there was stuff. That well, we haven't seen yet. There's and stuff some from stuff unreleased games, games, possibly. Yeah, some yeah. games that uh, you know we had worked on in the past that we felt were actually really cool ideas. It just we just didn't get the momentum on it. You know, our focus maybe went on to another IP that needed more help. And so, the, you know, for one reason or another, these games sort of sat on the shelf, but still dear to our hearts. I mean, we were oh, going yeah. through the art. We're just like, God, this is amazing. And so, for me, I think that's kind of a cool inside look into potentially what could have been. Um, something else that. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that's in the book is there's a commentary, a running commentary that goes through the whole thing with me, Chris, and Sam where we just sat around a table and thumbed through the art and old stories would come up, right? And how the pieces of art influenced us and, you know, where we we're at in our lives, you know, and I mean, it's just this cool adventure and a, a, a really different look at the interpretation of the art. So that to me is really cool. I think the fans will like that. So do you have a favorite... Um piece of art of yours and your favorite character you like drawing or maybe the well, franchise you really deep down love. I'm a little partial love. to the Hydralisk simply because uh -huh. I designed him originally um, but I'd say um, nowadays it's probably Kerrigan you know uh, Wei Wang did a piece of Kerrigan uh, for I think it was BlizzCon the key art of her coming out of the oh, I love that. I and I, I remember seeing that and it's just his rendering and the way he put it all together I was like it immortalizes the image right and so for me, I think that's probably my favorite. Okay, and um, let me wrap up on this last question. We, we saw on the WoW forums, um, I think it was Ghostcrawler, gave some advice to an aspiring game developer, eight-year-old, eight -year -old, I think you saw that. Uh, so. maybe, maybe. Okay. Um, do you have any advice for aspiring artists, 3D modelers who are looking to break into, specifically Blizzard, obviously, but what, what can they take away what can they take from away? Something, you know, an event like this? I, I think, um, you know, the thing about Blizzard is we draw from all, all places, all inspiration, right? And we, you know, we try to create something unique and fresh, but at the end of the day, we're just geeks. And I would say, be true to yourself and be true to the geek in you and you know, let that come out in your heart. You know, don't allow uh, other people to necessarily influence you or tell you it's not good enough. You know, just keep chipping away at it and you know, stay you know, excited about it because that's, that's how we did it. You know, and that's today, even every day I wake up and I pinch myself that I get to do this. Right? <laughs> Yeah, and so I would just say, you know, hold on to why you got it in the first place, and don't ever lose that. You know, yeah. and for me, you know, I do this for free. Yeah. You know. And do you have anything else you'd want to say to the fans of the Bliss Planet community? I mean, we're all fans of just, your work and Blizzard, obviously. Just that I'm 
super privileged to be a part of this. You know, this book is created by a lot of different people, and just to have my name associated with it is an absolute honor. Um, and you know, it, it's just it's one of those things that now that it's in a book, it's just it's pretty humbling. You know, mm -hmm. and I would just say enjoy it because it's a lifetime's worth of work. Yeah, looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. Thanks a lot so no much. Problem. Thanks so yeah. much for your time. No Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks.